Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Uh, I wanted to show you this email that I got from somebody who listens to my YouTube channel. This is what she says. Hi Lonnie, I want to thank you very much for reading the two Tamplin Goffman books. Uh, second, can you please mention in your next video that the Hormesis comment period has been extended to November 19th. So far, only 387 comments have been submitted to the NRC regarding hormesis, and the petition <clears throat> has stalled at 1,689 signatures. Maybe that's all the anti-nuke activists there are. Remind your listeners that here is the link to submit their comments on hormesis. I'll put that link inside this video. And here is the petition that needs signatures. I actually had never seen that signatures petition so I'm super glad she sent it to me also ask your listeners who have the time if they can email hospitals great idea children's hospitals doctors their congressmen senators and inform them about the hormesis proposal and ask them to submit their comments this needs a bigger bigger see bigger response Thanks for all you're doing. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, D. And that is from D. So I wanted to show you. I went to the NRC homepage. I want to show you guys. So I just typed in, as you can see, just nrc.gov. I wanted to show you this homepage so you can get used to it because we really need to pay attention to this. And this is going to be our friend. All of these are going to be our friends and tell us the reality. So that's the thing about the nuclear deal is that they tell us, but nobody really actually listens. So this is where we're going to go here. We're going to say public comment and involvement, documents for comment. Think. And guess what? It pops up and then you scroll the page down. And this is what we're talking about. You're going to link onto here. Just click that click loads up and I'm gonna tell you no thank you we're not gonna give you feedback and it says comment now so we want to put your comment you click on this see here it is linear no threshold model and we're gonna comment and then look where it pops you you can give your name and you can give this I think don't know if that's required. I want to provide my contact information I am submitting on behalf of the third party. You don't have to do that. So, But do put your comments in. That's where it is. But this is also what I wanted to show you. And I'm going to be talking about this on the radio show tomorrow. But here we go. List of approved storage casks. Uh, casks. Not, not canisters or caskets. I guess they're casts. Holtec International High Storm Flood Purpose Systems. So what we want to do is say we do not approve of these things, that we want them to find better ones. And I will tell you why, because if you look at the storage specifications, these things are only a half an inch thick. This brings me back to Donna Gilmore's website called SantaNoFreeSafety.org. And on the front page, she talks about an action alert that these experimental Holtec UMAX underground nuclear waste, they're related to the same caskets. Like, let's go up here under issues and we'll look under nuclear waste. She has such a great website. She explains things in such magnificent detail. It is unbelievable. This is a gem of a human being here. Look at this map. Look what the, look what she's done this work on her web page. Look at her web page there. It is magnificent. She has all these drop down. You can look at all this stuff. Look where she's at. This is all the work she's done all by herself, you guys just because she moved here and all of a sudden look at all the cities Lord look at the video list that she has Wow so and here's news she keeps it up so let's just look at this let's don't get sidetracked I have a tendency to get sidetracked sorry about that 
Oh, I went to new, so I'm going to go backwards. Sorry. Here we are. Okay. So let's go to nuclear waste again, because I want to show you this. Look what she has this little comment here. One day this will be all yours. Oh, thanks, Dad. Okay, but this is what I'm talking about. These containers, how thick are they? A half an inch thick. The canisters at other locations are even thinner. At San Onofre, they're 0.625, just a tad bit. Look at this. Over 2,000 loaded canisters in the United States. <coughs> Excuse me. Most are a half an inch thick. And look what this says right beneath it. NRC documents provide data that indicate thin storage containers can fail 16 years after a crack initiates. So in, in up here in uh, the Columbia Generating Station, Mimi German was telling me there is a crack that was found out in 2001. So we've got 15 years before this fails. So folks, I would suggest that you guys take a look at these things also. This is the summary. And let's not, you know, go to... The, Please arm yourself with information. Contact Donna Gilmore. She is a troth trove of information about these nuclear casts. She had to basically beg a European company to give uh, her a quote for what they store their waste in over in Europe, which is 18 inches thick. Not a half an inch thick, 18 inches thick. You know why she had to beg them? She said because they didn't want to because they think it's a waste of time. The NRC never has ever bought one because they're too cheap. So it's up to us to start putting pressure on these people to stop this kind of thing. Utah Private Fuel Storage Project Failure. This is the entire Mascalero Apache Monitored Retrievable Storage Project Failure. That's all these people are doing is failing because nobody is held accountable. And it is time for us to hold these rat bastards accountable. So uh, you can come to the website and watch her videos Donna Gilmore has done a magnificent job on this website, you guys. It is unbelievable. I mean, it really, this is a gem. And frankly, I think if I had not been so narrow-minded about my scope of looking in the last two years, I would have seen it. But I've been super busy, and now that I ha have the ability to actually really look around, spend time on other things, I am super... Frankly, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with grief. I'm seriously like this is just that our government is willing to do this to us is unbelievable. These are the storage casts. These things are a half, a half an inch thick, folks. That's what they're putting their shit in. A half an inch thick. That is unbelievable. That's unbelievable. They're willing to just destroy the planet for profit. Thick casts are the solution. Thank you, Donna Gilmore, for being a real human being, for being a leader and a magnificent role model to other women and other human beings, and especially to women, to show us how to step up to the plate. Good for you. Thick casts don't crack and are up to 20 inches thick. Thick casts are designed for longer term storage and can be inspected, maintained, monitored, and have provided been reliable for over 40 years. Not over 40 years, that's all they last. They actually last for 250 years. But in the 40 years, the thicker casts. Edison refused to allow bids from thicker cast vendors. Vendors will not allow, vendors will not apply for an NRC license unless they have a customer. Edison needs 
to be that customer. And it is really up to us, not just Edison, but it is even the NRC. This needs to become, this bullshit, of, uh, keep approving these guys who provide us with a half an inch thick when it could, they could make them 18 to 20 inches thick. In the, they could do it at a loss, actually, for our country. For as, a, as an American, they should actually do it for a loss, even or for no profit at all. This is bullshit that these people have to make a profit to save the planet from the mess that the nuclear cartel has cost us. So I'll end here, you guys. I just wanted to show you these things because these things are really important. Please do go on to the NRC website. Click on this, the linear no threshold model standard for protection against radiation. They are thinking about just stop monitoring and starting to tell us that radiation helps us. Those are due on 11-19. We have a more urgent thing because the comments close on these casts at 10 2015 So we need people to put on pressure on the Holtec International High Storm Flood Wind Multipurpose Storage System Certificate of Compliance Number 1032, Amendment Number 0, Revision Number 1. We need to tell the government no, 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 and demand that they get us thicker casts to store the storage unit waste. What are these? 12-7. Fire and background. Wow, what's that? Well, I'm going to end here. Where I see we're already at 11. I'll come back and make another video. And actually, I'm not going to do it tonight. Uh, I see that we have some time, 12-2. But you are more than welcome to come to the NRC site and dig around here, folks, because... We need to become informed. We need to become engaged. It's the only way we're going to really get accountability. So put your courage feet on, you guys, and please do make this public comment. It matters for the future of all humanity. Ciao.